All right, y'all. I know you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Just dumping a perfectly good pumpkin pie in a bowl. But, you know, I know sometimes after the holidays we have some leftover pie. So I'm about to show y'all what you can do with any leftover pumpkin pie you might have. Out from between the, the thing, the meat masher, the multi-purpose kitchen tool that I love using. It's so great. It worked great for this. All right, so that's pretty good. That looks great. All right, y'all, so now what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna move this to the side. We're gonna take our pumpkin pie and we're gonna scoop it onto this uh, foil line baking sheet like this with a little ice cream scoop, okay? Just like so. Y'all are gonna love this easy treat. It's so much fun. I make these, well, I don't make them every year because sometimes we don't have any leftover pie, but when you do, this is a great treat, y'all, all right? Y'all can get a smaller scooper if you want as well, but this is the only one I have, so this is the one I'm using. All right, so it looks like we're gonna get about uh, seven bowl balls, seven pumpkin balls. All right, y'all, so we're just gonna put this in the fridge to set up, and then I'm gonna show y'all the next step. All right, y'all. Now we have one bag of this uh, peppermint bark chips and one bag of dark chocolate. We're gonna melt these, and I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do next. All right, y'all, these have been in my fridge for like two hours, so now what we're gonna do, now that I melted my chocolate, we're gonna take one of these little pumpkin balls, and we're gonna just drop it in our chocolate, all right? So uh, I melted some uh, dark chocolate, and then y'all saw I also have some of this peppermint bark. So y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I have never tried the peppermint bark with pumpkin pie, but I don't know, something inside me just says, you know what, this is gonna taste good. All right, so now we're gonna get this out. It has a thick layer of chocolate, y'all. All right, and I have some sprinkles here. So I have two different kinds. And uh, I think we're gonna use these first. So here we go. I'm gonna put this right on in here. Like so. All right. I, okay, y'all, I was gonna try and not use my hands, but we don't have to cover the whole thing. We don't need that many sprinkles. Now we're just gonna put it down right here like that. And then I have a little stick right in the top, all right? So now we're gonna do this again. We're gonna drop this in. All right, and actually, I'm gonna use one of these right now. So I'm gonna cover this. This is a little bit thinner than the chocolate, which I kind of like right now. All right, and then for this one, we're gonna do this. All right, and I put a hole in the middle, but that's okay. Look what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the stick in. And then we're gonna put these fun sprinkles like this. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna finish the rest. And then I'm gonna let these set up, put them on a plate, then we're gonna come back and try them. Here's my little baby, Frankie Fufus. Look at this little baby, yeah. Y'all wanna know what? Frankie Fufus loves his daddy. I think he likes Fred more than he likes me, but that's okay. You're a little baby, aren't you? Say hi, they love seeing you. Yeah, you wanna get down, don't you, Poopy Lou? Love you, baby. He's so cute, y'all, all right. So here we have our little uh, pumpkin pie balls that we dipped in chocolate, dark chocolate, and then we also use that Andy's uh, peppermint bark chip. So, all right, y'all, time to try one. Here we go. Uh, I'm excited. I mean, I've made the chocolate ones before. I've never made these, but I guess I should try both of them. All right, I'm gonna try this one. No, you know what? I'm gonna try the peppermint one first. We're gonna see if it's good. I know the chocolate one's good, but all right, y'all. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mmm. Y'all. Okay. Let me keep chewing. Hold on. Y'all, the um the pumpkin pie with the peppermint bark coating is real good. I was worried, but the flavors actually go real well together. So you know what? I'm just gonna keep eating this one. I know I like the chocolate, but y'all. If you have any leftover pumpkin pie, easy, delicious treat. Y'all should make these.